Hi guys, Tracy here from ACR Technology. I'm here with Brianna. Brianna. Hi Tracy. How are you doing with the COVID-19? Oh great. I guess Tracy. we should be just like, okay, there we go. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're doing this COVID-19. Uh, we're going to be doing all of our uh, tug reviews during this time. It's a great time to do this kind of thing. Brianna works at uh, ACR. What do you do, Brianna? I am a sales associate at ACR Technology. Now, what does a sales associate do? Oh, we got to sell our tugs somehow, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to sell some tugs. Okay, so we've got, actually, I wanted to do a T1X2, but we're selling them so fast, I don't have any to show. So we're going to do the T2. W2. W2, yeah. We're going to show you what it uh, what it looks like. It's got the Lazy Susan, very similar to the T2. It's wider for a double tire. So we're going to kind of go through it a little bit, show you what it does, and uh, some of the differences between it and uh, the T2 V2, and also some of the smaller tugs. Okay, so we're going to go through the uh, specs on this tug. Okay, so Brianna, <laughs> what's the specs on the tug? So with the T2W2, it the weight is 257 pounds, and the width length is 39 by 39 by 9. But if you did purchase it, it would be 320 pounds. In the pallet. On, on, on the pallet, the, yes. On the pallet and the shipping weight, yes. yeah. Okay, and then how big of a plane will this tow? Well, we have a Hockner 700 right here, so we're going to demonstrate our T2W2 with it. And it'll tow how much weight? 21,000 pounds. All right, and let's see, anything else? Well, it is made for double double tires, yes. so you can see on the, the Hawker, we'll get to that in a moment, but uh, it's got this wide Lazy Susan, and this Lazy Susan will accommodate a double tire. Yes. And it's the same as a T2 V2, except for that feature there. One of the other things that's a little bit different than a T2 V2 is the ability of this one, it'll only turn 90 degrees. Because of the wider cradle, it would hit the, the back throughout if it uh, turned more than 90 degrees. So it does have stops at 90, but that should not be a, uh, a hindrance to using it. So we're gonna show you how it works. Uh, everything else is the same as a T2 V2. It's got the six inch wide tracks. It's got a three quarter inch plate, the main plate, so it's very strong. Uh, it's got a steel Lazy Susan on it. Uh, it's got double motors on each side. There's two motors on each side that go into two planetary gearboxes on each side, and those drive your tracks. It's got two 24 volt DC uh, lithium ion batteries. Um, this one's fitted with lights. It's an option. How much do the lights cost is an option? $250. Yeah. So we. But uh, you don't have to have them if you didn't want to. You don't need them if you, if you don't want them, but they're handy to have. Especially in a hangar. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get this thing going and, and show you how it loads on the front tire of this Hawker. I'm going to go over to the uh, tires and uh, one thing you want to do is you do not, I'm going to uh, get it straightened up here, but you do not want to ram the tires. Now we do have the back tires on one side chalked so that the plane I won't push it back. Uh, but the front, uh, the front should just roll right up underneath the front wheels and uh, the, the cradle will lock into place. And then I'll start pulling it out, straight out. Okay, so here we go. And again, I just come up and touch the roller and now I roll up and now I'm locked in. That is so easy. So now it is easy, isn't it? Yeah. So now I can back out. By the way, this plane right now is about at 16, almost 17,000 pounds. So it's got a very heavy front end. We're guessing it's probably about a 5,000 pound front end. 
So uh, that's why you need the T2, W2, or the T2 uh, for the weight. You got that big three quarter inch plate. So we're gonna pull it out a little bit more here. Okay, so uh, we're pulling out here. We're gonna take the uh, plane now. We're gonna pull it out a little bit more, and then we're gonna taxi over to the, the hangar. Taxi? Taxi. Mean, like, lift or Uber? Yeah, I guess it's kind of like Lyft or Uber. You're taxiing it out here for us old people. It's called taxi. <laughs> so. Oh, okay, old people, all right. Yeah. I guess that's old. my turn then. <laughs> For the young guys, young gals, you're gonna Uber it over here. And uh, so we're gonna pull it out and then we're gonna take it over to the other hangar and then we'll show you how it's gonna load or uh, move the plane into the hangar once we're over there. We're gonna fit two planes in that hangar. We're gonna be getting a uh, west wind and this into a uh, 60 by 60 hangar. So it'll be really interesting to see how it works. So, uh, we're going to do that probably tomorrow. We're going to do a quick change of clothes and you'll see us tomorrow on that one. So we were able to tow the West Wind really uh, nicely with the, with the T2W2, but uh, there was a problem with the size of the hangar. The hangar was just way too small for it to fit. So uh, yeah, it was not successful uh, to get the, the West Wind and the Hawker in the hangar at the same time. Uh, we did pull the, the west wind in, we nosed it into one corner, and uh, there was just, it just wasn't a big enough hanger to, to fit. And then uh, we even tried bringing it in tail first, and uh, that didn't work either. So uh, pretty much scrapped the idea of trying to get both of them into the hanger, and uh, so that was that. Back here at the shop now, and I just wanted to show one minor thing about the tug the t2w2 that i didn't show you out on the on the at the airport and that is the cradle on the cradle for the t2w2 you have this extra plate right here that lifts the tire up to a, a height so that you if you have very wide uh, double tires it lifts it up high enough to clear your tire from hitting the side of this and uh, one of the other things i didn't show was the um, there's an, a, these side adjusters that you could put in. Now these come in the box; they're not on the on the plate. But what you do is you put these into the uh, slots here, and then you've got a pin that locks it in place. You got two pins for each side, so you get to whichever hole size you need and lock it in place. You do that on both sides. and then you would adjust this for the width of your tire. Now, some of the uh, tires have a splash guard on them. So this would be too high for it to work with the splash guard. It'd hit the splash guard. So we do ship with these. We ship these smaller pieces that will screw on. So basically you remove these two screws, take the plate off, and put this one on instead, it's much lower. You can see it's like half the, half the size. And that'll keep from uh, damaging your splash guard. So um, that's, that's it. Also, if you don't need this plate on here, uh, you can take it off as well. There's six screws, six, uh, actually, I'm sorry, eight screws to uh, pull that off. If you have a very large tire, uh, bigger than, uh, what, 20 inches, uh, you're gonna need to take this plate off. And uh, otherwise it's gonna be hitting up here and the ground, and it's not gonna be hitting the roller at all. So uh, just be, uh, be aware that you might have to take that plate off. If it works with it on, then great, you're better off leaving it on, because then you've got these adjusters that you can put on for the tire. And that's it. Thank you very much, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.